Does Harry know you're here? No. Harry still thinks I go on retreat. Don't worry. I'm not worried. Then why are you frowning? <laughs> I'm getting bad vibes again. You know, when you walked in, I could sense your high tension level. And then after we made love, I noticed a certain anxiety reduction, but uh, now I'm getting definite negative feedback. <laughs> when did you go into analysis? <laughs> How did you know I was in analysis? Just a wild guess. When did you start? <sighs> my value system changed, Doris. One day, I took a look at my house, my three-car garage, my swimming pool, and the gardeners, and did I... I asked myself, did I really want this whole status trip? So I decided to try and find out what I did want and who I was. I've learned a lot. I've noticed. For one thing, you've learned to talk as if you're reasoning with someone who's about to jump off a high ledge. Mm. Yeah, well, sometimes to compensate for my former emotionalism, I tend to overcompensate by losing some of my spontaneity. I'm working on it. I'm glad to hear that. So, uh, what else have you learned? I have learned that behind the walls I've built around myself that I can be a very warm and caring and loving human being. I could have told you that 20 years ago. <laughs> How's Helen reacting to your voyage of self-discovery? Mm, at first she tended to overreact. Mm, in what way? She threw a grapefruit at me at the A&P. Uh. Yeah, it was natural that we had to work through some uh, interpersonal conflicts, but uh, now it's cool. She's uh, into pottery. George, what do you do for a living? We live very simply, Doris. We don't need much. I and mean, what, what, what bread I do need, I can provide by simple, honest labor. Like what? I play cocktail piano in a singles bar in the valley. Hmm. I'm buying another store. Why? Money. Is that why you went into business? To make money? No. I wanted power, too. And it finally got through my thick skull that attending CR groups with Ten other frustrated housewives wasn't going to change anything. CR groups? Consciousness raising? I take it you are into women's liberation? Hey, I'm for any kind of liberation. <laughs> That's a cop-out, and you know it. Women have always been exploited by men. The only time a woman is taken seriously in this country is when she has money to back up her mouth. I think it's a great hobby. Hobby? My store grossed over half a million in the first year. Hey, honey, don't misunderstand. I mean, if that's what you want, I am happy for you. It's just, you know, I'm not into the whole money thing anymore. Do you ever get the feeling that we're drifting apart? That, that our lives are somehow out of sync? No. In many ways, I've never felt closer to you. We all realize our potential in different ways at different times. I mean, as long as you're, what you're doing gives you a, a sense of fulfillment, that's what's important. Well, I'm working on it. And you have everything you want? Uh, with one minor exception. Somewhere along the way, I seem to have lost my husband. Well, I don't know if I've lost him or... Uh, Simply misplaced him. He left home four days ago, and I haven't heard from him since. How do you feel about that? You know something, George? You're beginning to get on my nerves. That's cool. Jesus! No, I mean, at least it's honest. I mean, total honesty is the key to everything. Are you being totally honest with Helen? Have you told her about us? No, but I could. Really, I think she's mature enough to handle it. George, you're full of crap. What about that garbage of, I don't know if I lost him or simply misplaced him. I mean, what kind of crap is that? Okay. You have a point. 
So how do you feel about this? You're doing it again, George. <sighs> I know, I'm doing it. I... How do you feel about this? Look, I didn't marry Harry because he had a good head for business. Okay, so it just so happens that I discovered I did. Or maybe I was just lucky. I don't know. The point is, I don't love Harry any less because he's a failure as a provider. Why should he love me any less because I'm a success? <laughs> At least I think that's how I feel. What do I do now? Have you told him that you still love him? Love him? <laughs> Why does he think I've been hanging around him for 27 years? I'm just... I mean that right now his masculinity is being threatened and he probably needs some validation of his worth as a man. And how do I do that? That's some trick. Total honesty, Doris. Is it so hard for you to tell him that you understand how he feels? Right now? It is, yes. You want him back? I don't know. Ask me again tomorrow, and I'll probably give you a different answer. Why? Tomorrow, I won't have you. I'm always with you in spirit. Thanks a lot. It's kind of hard to put your cold feet on someone's spirit, isn't it? Especially when they're 400 miles away. Is that a, is that a proposal, Doris? Why? Are you interested? Are you? I always thought we'd make a nice couple. Hmm. You didn't answer the question. I was the one who proposed. But don't worry. I was only three quarters serious. Well, when you're completely serious, why don't you ask me again? I bet you say that to all the girls. Yeah. So that was a scene from the play Same Time Next Year by Bernard Slade. It was written in 1975. And now we welcome to the stage Happier Valley improviser Laura Patrick who has no idea what that scene was, along with Sam Rush, who has to stick to the script line by line. That's nice. Does Harry know you're here? No. Was I supposed to tell? I'm not worried. Okay, when you say you're not worried, I get worried. Why? Where am I supposed to be? I'm getting bad vibes again. I mean, when you walked in, I could sense your high tension level. And then, you know, then after, after we made love, I noticed a certain anxiety reduction, but now I'm getting a, I'm getting a definite negative feedback. You know me well. Usually that feedback is just from eating burritos, but not today. No, I'm tense. You're right. I'm tense. I want to know what you know. Why did you call me here for this mid-afternoon love-making session? How did you know I was in analysis? <laughs> oh, is that what you're tense about? Oh, for God's sakes. We all know you walk around processing everything now. Jeremy, it's like a freaking sketch show. They're like, oh gosh, I'm not feeling well. And you come over, tell me how you're feeling. I just told you, I'm not feeling well. My value system has changed, Doris. 
I mean, one day I took a look at my house, the tree carcass and the garage and the swimming pool and the gardeners, and I asked myself, do I really want this whole status trip? Uh, yes, you do. <laughs> For God's sakes, you have a pool. Come on. Who wouldn't want that? Come on, right, Sir, Jeremy, what is going on? Is this a midlife thing? You want me to get you a red Corvette? What's going on? Look, I, I decided I wanted to, to, you know, to try to find out who, who I was and, and what did I want. Oh. <laughs> who you are is who you've always been. A little bit of a tight wad, super neurotic, <laughs> peanut butter hating professor. I've learned a lot. Have you? You've learned a lot from therapy? Well, sometimes, to, com to compensate for my former emotionalism, I tend to overcompensate and I tend to, to lose some of my spontaneity. Okay, just so you know, the word overcompensate is so therapy. That's not a word real people use, okay? I'm working on it. All right. I think you're thinking too much, Jeremy. You don't have to worry so much. We like you-ish, the way you are. <laughs> you're fun, you're funny, you're a little bit gravelly. So what? I've, I've learned, I've learned that behind the walls I built around myself, I can be a very warm, caring, and loving human being. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Oh, you, oh, you're serious. Oh, sure. No, sweetie, you're, you're, you're warm. Oh, so the smaller your back is warm, certainly right now. You, yeah, you're not, you're not warm. You're not warm. It's okay. When's the, when's the last time you actually cried at a commercial? Well, at first, she tended to overreact. Oh, God. We're going to talk about her now. Well, she threw a grapefruit at me at the A&P. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was natural that, you know, we'd have to work through some interpersonal conflicts, but now, now it's cool. You know, she's into pottery. You know what's not cool? Inviting your ex over for sex and then talking about your wife. <laughs> not cool. So she threw a grapefruit at you. She's dramatic. We live... It... Sorry, go ahead. We live simply, Doris. We don't need much. I mean, what bread we need, I can provide by simple, honest labor. <laughs> you have a four-car garage. <laughs> there is literally nothing simple about you. I play cocktail piano at a singles bar in the valley. I know. I know, that's sweet. <laughs> and that's because your wife is the one with the money and you're guilty about it. I get that, that's okay. Why? Why is it okay? Because, I mean, you're more of a man of the people. You're a man of the brain, a man of the books, a man of the people. She's a grapefruit throwing Blue blood from uh, Connecticut. What? Is that why you went into business? To make money? <laughs> of course, silly. What do you think we go into business for? Ideals? <laughs> Values? Oh yeah, I really want to bring people potato chips. No. It's money, and that's okay. You need to be okay with yourself. <sighs> CR groups? <sighs> I, I don't really want to join any of your crazy groups, so please try not to recruit me anymore for your CR groups. I don't even know which one that is. Cardio hey. respiratory? <laughs> Cancer research? <laughs> Cacophony redacted? I don't know. I, I don't want to join.
can we just, can we have sex and some marshmallows or something? I'm for any kind of liberation. <laughs> See, when you smile, it's beautiful. I think it's a great hobby. <laughs> I would hope that smiling was more than a hobby, but you have to start somewhere, sweetie. Honey, don't misunderstand. I mean, if that's what you want, I am happy for you. Huh? It's just that... I'm not into the whole uh, money thing anymore. Okay. I can play this game. I want you smiling and naked in 15 minutes. <laughs> no. <clears throat> in many ways, I have never felt closer to you we all realize our potential in different ways and different times. Look, as long as what you're doing gives you a sense of fulfillment, that's what's important. I may need the name of your therapist. I like that one. <laughs> so. And. We will now swap out Sam Rush for the other original actress, Lisa Abend, and bring with her improviser Mo McGalligott, who again has no idea what this scene is and needs to improvise the other half while Lisa okay, okay. sticks to the script. <laughs> Veronica! Ah! Veronica! No! He's going to propose! He's no! going to propose tonight! No! Harry still thinks I'm on retreat. Don't, uh, don't worry. Oh, that's okay. Y you don't have to be here. In fact, that would kind of be, you know, threes, two's company, three's a crowd. Harry's going to propose tonight. Well, then why are you frowning? I'm not. Oh, okay. I didn't put the Botox in. I know, I know, I know. I should do that. He's going to propose. I need to look my best. What? When did you go into analysis? <sighs> Okay, it's only been a couple of weeks, but, um, you know, I, I think I'm really improving. Don't you think? I mean, no, those bad habits that I've had that drive you crazy, you know? I mean, I know you threatened that you didn't want to be my roommate anymore, but I really Just think I'm guess. improving. What? When did you start? A couple of weeks ago. Huh. Well... Oh, are, are you saying I should continue? Oh, yeah, you are so judgmental. I've noticed. Oh, yeah. In mm. fact, the whole world has noticed. You know, people talk behind your back. That For Veronica one thing, is so I've judgmental. learned that you talk as if you're reasoning with someone who's about to jump off a high ledge. I do not. <gasps> Oh, could you say such a thing? Oh. Uh, 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 oh, oh, you, <laughs> you, oh, oh, you're kidding, okay, you always get me, you got me I'm again. glad to hear it. I know, I fall for it every time. <laughs> what else have you learned? Oh, gosh, I've learned that you can find love at any age. Uh, I had given up on it. I really had. Hmm. I could have told you that 20 years ago. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, how is Helen reacting to your voyage of self-discovery? Well, Helen, I... Listen, my mother has nothing to do with this, okay? <laughs> Just nothing to do with this. In fact, that's one of the reasons why I'm in therapy. In, but what, in what way? Let's leave Helen out of this. In what... In what way? Well, in every way. We need to leave her out of this in every way. In fact, I'm, I'm just not going to introduce Vinny to my mother ever. I, or Harry, or whatever man I'm going to say yes to this evening. 
George. George, oh my God. I know. Harry, Vinny, George. I love those three name guys, you know? I love that. That's so sexy. <laughs> what do you do for a living? You're being judgmental again. I told you, I'm, I'm giving up that telemarketer job, okay? And when Like, I, what? I said, I'm giving up the telemarketer job. Uh, I'm buying another store. Oh my God. Maybe I could come work at the store? Money? I have to pay you? No. But usually people no. pay you to work. I, I wanted power too. No, you, uh, hey, listen, I know you're the boss. You call the shots. And it finally got through my thick skull that attending CR groups with 10 other frustrated housewives wasn't going to change anything. It doesn't. No, no. Listen, that's why you need to, to start a new business, right? I mean... Hmm. Consciousness raising. I know. I take it you are for women's liberation. Oh, yes. Oh, are you kidding? That... The fact that I'm going to marry Vinnie Harry George and he's going to take care of me for the rest of my life? That oh, is a cop-out. I know, I know, I know, listen. Women I... have always been exploited by men. The only time a woman is taken seriously in this country is when she has money to back up her mouth. And you've got money, and you've got a mouth. <laughs> That's <is> for sure. <laughs> Hobby. <laughs> My store so, grossed over half a million in the first year. Whoa! <laughs> oh, sorry, okay. Mm -hmm. I'll just go over here. So, do you ever get the feeling we're drifting apart? That our lives are getting out of sync? Well, I, I have felt that. In fact, I brought that up um, in therapy that, I mean, you've been my best friend for, oh God knows, I mean, since we were in kindergarten. And somehow I, I feel that over the years we have drifted apart. I mean, we're so different. And yet, you're still my best friend. Well, I'm working on it. Oh. <laughs> Well, yeah, I know, I know I'm not the easiest person to, to get along with, and sometimes those, when I get nervous, those little things happen, and I'm working on it in therapy, though. Well, with one minor exception. Oh. Somewhere along the way, I seem to have lost my husband. I don't know if I've lost him or simply misplaced him. He left home four days ago, and I haven't seen him since. Uh, are you insinuating something, Veronica? You know something, George? You're beginning to get on my nerves. Would you like a drink? How about a drink? Jesus! You know, uh... Okay. All right, that's it. Let's just cut this crap. That's right. I know where your husband is. In fact, I've known for a long time, Veronica. Are you being totally honest with Helen? <laughs> Have you told her about us? I told you, let my mother out of this. George, you're full of crap. <laughs> it took you that long to figure it out. I've been full of crap since kindergarten. Okay, you have a point. I do, I know I do. You're doing it again, George. Okay, all right. Listen, is there anything I can do to, to mend this rip between us? Look. I didn't marry Harry because he had a good head for business. Okay, so it just so happens I discovered I did, or maybe I was just lucky, I don't know. No, you were lucky, yep, yep, you were lucky. <laughs> but hey, you know. The point is, I don't love Harry any less because he's a failure as a provider. Why should he love me any less because I'm a success? 
At least I, I... Well, you're a little intimidating, I just have to say. In fact, I brought that up a lot in therapy. You're very, very intimidating, Veronica. Well, what do I do about it now? Well, I, you know, just have a drink. I mean, relax, put your feet up. Go to therapy. <laughs> and how do I do that? Well, I, here's That's a card. That's some trick. Yeah, you, well, you use, take out your cell phone, call this it's, number. Oh. Hmm? Right now. Oh, right, oh, yes. okay, yes, do it right now. I, I don't know. Oh, no, honey, you I don't need know. it. I don't no, know, no, ask no. me tomorrow oh, and sweetie, I'll probably no, give no, you a different no. answer. There may not be a tomorrow. Tomorrow, I won't have you.